everybody, Chris, Stratomatic Delaware. Hey, I know it's been a while since I've been on, but uh, time to start making some videos and hope to make them with a little more regularity. Uh, football season is rapidly approaching, so I'm going to do some football game videos first. Um, this one is going to be running plays, just running plays, how to do them, how they work, section 4.0 in the rule book if you want to follow along. But we are going to uh, just show you how to do some uh, running plays. Sometimes it's easier to see it done. They're easy to get, but sometimes it's easier to see someone do it for you. So here is a visual example along with the entertaining me. So the first thing you do with a running play. Well, you know what a running play is. Quarterback takes a snap and either hands it off to a running back or a receiver and or keeps it himself, tries to advance the ball on the ground without passing. That's a running play. And um, the players that you can run for your team are your running backs. We're using the 76 Colts, by the way. And they didn't have any receivers that could do this, so I'm just going to use another running back as an example. If you have a receiver that has running on the back of their card, then they can run in those particular plays. If you have a receiver... With the backside blank, they cannot participate in any running plays. That being said, it's uh, first and ten. So let's say the Colts, they're going, if you're selecting your play, cover it up so your opponent can't see what you're doing. Colts are going to select off tackle with um, the halfback because I just happen to have Lido Mitchell's card out. The defense, first and ten, yeah, they're going to go into a run alignment. That, that's pretty safe. In all likelihood, in 76, first down, you're running the ball. So you uh, reveal your selection so your opponent can see what you're doing. So first and ten, we have an off-tackle play um, by the halfback, which is Lydell Mitchell, halfback. Defense is in a run alignment, which means they guessed right. They didn't guess wrong by selecting pass, so they guessed right. So we're going to look in this column right here. So let's go ahead and roll for first and ten. Uh, there's no chance of a penalty. It's not an X. Uh, however, uh, rehash one through three on the white die. Look on the offensive ball carrier or quarterback's card. Four through six, look on the defensive cards. And guessing right or wrong doesn't matter if it's a four through six. There's only one possible result column. Then you add the two red die together as an eight. So off tackle, number eight, Lido Mitchell gets stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So second of ten coming up. Well, Lido Mitchell is the only team player on this team, and he also just, uh, you know, we're just going to run. Since this is also about running only. Yeah, let's go with a halfback since he's in the game. Well, second and ten, the Colts would probably call pass if they didn't realize that Burt Jones wasn't on the field. Uh, reveal your uh, selections, and it is going to be end run, halfback, with a defense and pass alignment, which means that the defense guessed wrong. So it will be end run, guessed wrong. We're going to be looking in this column right here. Yeah, right there. Go ahead and roll your dice and get all the dice to behave and get picked up. No chance of a penalty. Uh, roll to two, so you're going to look on the running backs column. Yeah, I thought we were going to have a no focus thing like I'm notorious for, but apparently uh, things are going to behave tonight. Yeah, right, I spoke too soon. So we're going to look at end run, guessed wrong. Number two is a short gain. So short gain, you're going to go to your X chart, which has short gains and long gains right there. And you see it goes from 2 to 12, so you're adding your two red D6s. So go ahead and roll those. Roll to 5, which means Lydell Mitchell on 2nd 10 picks up 17 yards for a first down for the Colts. Fans of Memorial Stadium are going wild. So 1st and 10. Well, I don't know what we're going to do. Let's think. I don't know. How about a uh, halfback dive? 1st uh, and 10, Colts are going to go run. Go ahead and reveal your selections, so that way both teams can see what the opponent is doing. So it's going to be Lydell Mitchell, line buck. Uh, defense is in run alignment, so they guessed right. So we're looking at this column right here. Go ahead and roll your dice. No chance of a penalty. 
two, you look at the running backs card. Number seven, line buck, right, number seven. That is an eight yard, that's a five yard gain. The focus screwed around with me. So Mitchell picks up five on first down, brings up second and five. So let's go ahead and do one more play, just for poops and grins. Cover it up so that way your opponent can't see what you're doing. And we're going to call off tackle. Uh, let's see. How about with, oh, I don't know, the halfback. Second and five. Defense is going to call a run alignment. Go ahead and reveal your selection. Leto Mitchell again. So we're going to be off tackle. Defense guessed right, so we're looking in this column right here. Go ahead and roll your dice. I was hoping for that. So there is a chance of a penalty. The X showed up. Three, look at the running backs card. Number six in the column you're looking at. So off tackle, guessed right, number six. Five yard gain. That's enough for a first down, but there is a flag on the play. So you go to the penalty section for the team that is controlling the clock, which would be the Colts. Go figure. Um, 2 through 12, combining two red D6s. Go ahead and roll them. That's a 4. It is blank. There is no penalty. So it was only for a chance of a penalty, but since it's blank, that means there's no penalty. If it had been number 4, you would have looked on run offense number 4. It would have been holding 10 yards from scrimmage. Let's say you had rolled a 10, would have been opponent number two. You would have looked at the right side of the X chart. Run defense, number two, personal foul, 15 yards from concluding line of scrimmage after the play and first down. So that would have been the first down yardage plus 15 yards. <clears throat> A little quick rehash on penalties. But ladies and gentlemen, that's pretty much it. That's how you do running plays in Stratomatic. Again, it's simple, but sometimes visual aid really goes a long way to really cementing it, getting the process nailed down. And that's what I wanted to provide for you on running plays. Nice, quick, simple hit. And again, uh, sorry for the long absence, guys. I'm, it's been pushing 10 months. And I was like, I need to start getting some videos out, so here it is. And here's the spiel. Um, Stratomatic.com, go visit. Check out the company that's made this game for us and given us so much fun and support them with your dollars for the game sets, for the in-print car, in card sets that they offer on their website, Stratomatic.com. And if you uh, want to look for some older sets to uh, fill out your collection, play your favorite seasons back, uh, MoonlightGramsMarketplace.com. Chris Rosen in Philadelphia has an ex extensive collection that he offers online for sale. I've dealt with him. He's a great guy. He's a Stratomatic fan and player for years and great standing in the community. And a good community to go to, somers.activeboard.com. That's SOM for Stratomatic ERS. SOMers at activeboard.activeboard.com. Great forum, great place to ask questions and get good answers. Longtime strat players who give awesome advice. You've got historical replays. You've got um, the projects going there, just different teams thrown together, you know, just to see how things work out like we do. It's a great place to go. Um, <clears throat> I hope to have more videos out very, very shortly. Again, this is Chris, Stratomatic Delaware. Um, like the video. Share it with your friends. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And keep on rolling, guys. Have a great night. Well, after that 15-yard penalty, the Colts are fit to be tied.